All right, just a quick little video here. We're going to be playing with the lattice modifier and seeing how to use it real quick. But we need something to modify. So let's go ahead and just make um, kind of like a building or something here. And it needs to have a little bit of geometry to it. So you can't just use like blank um, mesh for the most part. It can't just be like a solid polygon on the side here. Um, and it helps to keep in mind that you're going to be deforming this. So in certain situations, you can only deform it so much before things start clipping through each other if you're going to use multiple objects and whatnot. So let's just take a look here. Um, so extrude out a couple sections and then add some loop cuts with, uh, with uh, control R there. And then bevel these two edges here. Now we can go up to the top, extrude a little bit. Maybe I'll hold Alt and Shift, select all the way down the side here. Alt E, extrude faces along normals. We're going to do an offset even down here. Okay, and just for the heck of it, we'll thin this down. And so a lot of times you'll end up creating objects that um, maybe let's do a cube. We're not going to change the pivot point here. So we're in edit mode. Let's slide that out to the side. S shift Z. We can do this. We're just going to rough align this in here. Hold control while moving. It should snap automatically. So um, a lot of times you'll be having objects like this that might not um, deform the same as these. So you got to kind of replicate that same definition there. So that way they all move kind of together. You got to have similar geometries. And I'm just going to mirror this. Apply a mirror modifier. X and Y. Boom. Done. Apply the modifier by pressing Control A as you hover over it in object mode. And so now we got like a building here. And so a lot of times in different kinds of films or games, uh, you'll have a building that's otherwise pretty normal, something like this, right? It has windows and stuff in it. Actually, let's just add some windows real quick. We'll just do insets for these. Shift, control. So shift click, and then you hold control to do the selection. Anyways. Uh, so we're going to press I. These aren't going to be proportional. Okay, good enough. Let's do um, just these ones. So you see, I want to select these over here and move those too. Um, if you do mirror, select mirror, click extend. Oh, maybe that didn't work. Let's do Y. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So you can do multiples, you can do uh, shift click, X, Y, and Z. But we just need Y, and then click extend. Now we can do that. Boom. We got some windows started. Not perfect, but um, we can manually select all these, but generally I'd select a row, press shift G, and then do by area. And it might not be a low enough threshold. So bump it down. Hold shift while you move to do smaller increments. Click and drag and hold shift at the same time. Alt D, extrude faces along normals. Okay, pretty lengthy little uh, lattice tutorial here. But in these movies and these films, they'll do like cattywampus kind of weird slants to the buildings and whatnot. You can do that with the, the um, lattice tool. So first things first, you want to have all of this as one object. So take it all, press A, Control J, and join them together. Now, press Shift A, create um, lattice. It's going to create a lattice in the middle there. We can't see it. Uh, you can scale this or move it or rotate it if you wanted to in object mode. Don't do it in edit mode. Uh, but I'm going to increase the radius here real quick. And now I'm going to scale it. I just wanted to see it first so I know what I'm doing. So I could do this number. You can make this pretty big, by the way. You don't have to be right on top of it. 
And so we're just going to line it up roughly like so. Under this panel here, data properties, object data properties, you can actually bump up the uh, resolution. Okay. So we're going to replicate this. Let's do fives. On the sides here, we'll do an extra one. And on this side, we'll do, uh, take one away. So yeah, that's, that's about what I want. That's good enough. This object now, let's go to your modifier panel, apply the lattice modifier. All right, if I can see it here, I don't, I don't use it very often. So lattice, it's under, kind of under my mouse, but uh, we're going to select the lattice object. Boom, there you go. So now this mesh, if we go into edit mode, we can start to deform it and modify it and all kinds of fun stuff. So we can move it like so um, in different areas. We can drag a section down. See, it kind of collapses the faces of the windows and stuff. So you may or may not want to do that. So Lattice might not be the tool for you to use. You might just want to edit your geometry. But uh, generally speaking, this is pretty cool because you can just kind of slant things rather quickly if you need to. So if I select these vertices here, oh, not that mesh, just this one. Uh, select these vertices. I could slant down that whole corner. And maybe I want to push in this section a little bit. Or I want to raise this area just a tiny bit. And so maybe for the whole thing, what we could do is um, apply the lattice. Um, go back to the lattice modifier here. Let's just bump down the amounts. You'll see it hasn't changed a whole lot. And um, if we reapply this, what happens is it's going to instantly take this shape. So sometimes you got to remake it, which sucks, but it is what it is. So we're going to just go ahead and remake it real quick. Maybe I want to do like a big taper to the whole thing, uh, the whole model. So we're going to get it back in a position here. Okay, so now we can do another modifier. Of course, you can create two modifiers if you need to. You didn't want to lose the old one. You see how I did that in edit mode and everything changed as I, I shouldn't have done that. But uh, let's go back and create lattice. Don't go into edit mode. That was my fault. Do it in object mode. Good enough. All right. Select the lattice now. Go back into edit mode with it. And I just want to grab the top ones, press S to scale it. Maybe I'll pull this whole corner down a little. So you can see what kind of shapes we're getting out of it now. It can be pretty interesting. I do want an extra piece in the middle there so that the bottom tries to stay flat. A little bit more. Put a little piece in the middle again. Break this one down. Okay. And that's going to give you that dilapidated look that um, you might want, right? Everything feels a little bit more uneven. Let's bring this corner down too. All right, just apply the modifier and you got your mesh stuck that way. Um, if you go too extreme with this because you have different objects, um, sometimes things will pop out. So you can see here it's, or on this corner, it's done that a little bit. So you might have to go back and manually adjust these kind of things if you need to. Um, and this is where having a solid piece of geometry where everything lines up perfectly and can deform appropriately. So think of like animation here. Uh, helps out quite a bit, but even for static meshes, it's not too bad. You can also use proportional editing um, to make some adjustments later on if needed. Just click proportional edit on up there and just as you need to. Okay. 
Shade it smooth and apply normals auto smooth. There we go. Much better result now. And so the windows, of course, are all crazy like, but we can kind of fix some of this up a little bit. So now you might have a row of houses or something like this that um, just move around and make a little city out of them. You have a street corner or whatever. All right. And just because I can. Nah, I was going to add a, uh, a fence, but that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It's not, not a whole lot that goes into this. And then these shapes, of course, you can always uh, be careful with how you model things. You can stack. Kind of stack these one on top of another if you need to. Scale them up a little. Just reposition them and whatnot. And that's a different different top, topic entirely. That's more talking about doing a, like a, a modular kit. There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over to there. I'm just going to try to get this looking a little prettier for the thumbnail here. Let's do, do a mat cap. All right. So more or less, that's the lattice modifier in a nutshell. Um, as with all my videos here, I do them pretty much unpracticed or unrehearsed. That way, if I run into problems, you can see them. Um, but see how I go about fixing them. Because even after using software for a long time, you'll run into issues. And you can see there the scaling one, even though I knew about it, I still accidentally do it. Uh, these kind of things, I, I feel like, just add to the video a little bit. But And then a quick little bit of modeling on top. I'm always going to try to do that just so people don't have to download stuff and they know how I create them. Uh, but that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a thumbs up. Also, uh, leave a comment and ask me what you might be interested in seeing. If you'd rather see more project videos or maybe just how to use certain tools, uh, maybe explain certain things. I do a lot of just general modeling and hard surface modeling. So that's kind of where I'm at. I don't do a lot of animations and all that fun stuff, but uh, I certainly don't mind learning something to the to the best that I can and then sharing on uh, little tricks and whatnot that I find while I do that. So um, definitely um, let me know in the comments, all right? Appreciate you watching and I'll check you out next time. Take care.